Hey guys, what is up? John here from FlightMikeAlpha.com. Today we are back in the hangar with our old Cherokee doing our tear apart an airplane series and what's inside of an airplane series. So because we don't care about tearing this one up, we went ahead and did a run up on this airplane with the mags cycling between left and right as well as all the way to off and then turning it back on because it really bugs me when students turn it all the way to off and then back on and you hear that loud pop. So we're gonna show you exactly what that looks like and explain to you exactly what that is happening when you're cycling the key to off and then back to left or right. So a very common mistake for students, especially when they're new, they're a little scared, they're not holding the key properly, it's easy for them to go when they're checking the mags from both over to left and then right and then all the way to off, all right? So maybe when they meant to go to the right mag, with the one that's actually on the left side on our switch, then they went all the way to off and they go, oh, they realize their mistake, the engine's about to shut down and they save the day, they bump it back to the right mag or the left mag or even back to both. And you hear that loud pop because what's happened is, well, you've turned the spark off to the airplane, but you're still turning the propeller, you're still pumping air through the engine, still sucking air through those cylinders, sucking air through the carburetor, mixing the air with fuel, and there's still raw, unburnt fuel going through the engine, all right, and it's being passed out the exhaust. Now, when you turn that key back to both, you ignite all that fuel, it ignites the raw fuel that's in the exhaust and guess what happens you get that loud pop you see the flame shoot out the tailpipe and what's happening to your baffling at that point you might say what the heck is baffling i'm baffled what is baffling well it's all the parts that are inside of your exhaust it's not just bare pipes right it's actually sections of pipes with specifically drilled holes and kind of a specific flow of that exhaust to dampen the noise the muffler aspect of it so to speak and then also maintain a certain amount of back pressure on the actual exhaust system so the engine will develop more power and the air will flow easier through the intake and through the exhaust. Without that certain amount of back pressure, you'll wind up making less power. You also have a much louder engine, but the real catastrophic side for us is less power, the engine's not running the way it was designed, it can result in damage to the engine and less power for you. So, what's the best thing to do if you accidentally bump the key to off? Well, just go whoops and leave it. All right, your instructor will then explain to you, okay, we're gonna go ahead, pull the mixture out, we're gonna restart the engine safely. The best thing to do at that point is then to complete a securing checklist, so to make sure the airplane is totally secure, and then complete your startup checklist again. By the time you've gone through that, most of the fuel has cleared out of the system. When you go to restart the airplane, you're not going to get that big, loud bang. If you're really concerned about getting that big, loud bang, well, you could try to start the airplane with the mixture at idle cutoff and allowing the gases to flow through the airplane, through, flow through the engine before reintroducing the fuel to it to then fire back up. So a couple different ways you can do it at the end of the day, follow what your instructor says. Best thing is complete the securing checklist and then begin again with the engine starting checklist, fire back up. Do not try to save the day or go, whoops, I bumped it off, let me turn it back. Now when we're doing this as a P lead check, all right, or a mag grounding check at the end of our flight is some checklist direct. When you go from the left mag, or from the right mag rather on the left hand side to off momentarily and then back to the right mag on the left hand side, which our ignition switches make no sense, but that's how they set them up because where the mags are actually connected on the engine. So when we bump back from off to putting spark back to the engine, that's okay because it's very low RPM. And so you're not likely to get that big loud pop. And even if you did, it would be a much smaller amount of fuel because the throttles at a much lower setting. Thus, you're not going to really damage your exhaust system if that occurs. So very important to avoid that after firing, that explosion of fuel in your exhaust, damaging your exhaust system. You can do this at low RPM if the checklist calls for it, if your POH calls for it to do that P lead grounding check that we've talked about in other videos. The most important thing to do is just do not try to put the mags back to left, right, or both if you've accidentally cycled it to off at a very high RPM, 1700, 2000 RPM. That is when you're going to be pulling a lot of fuel into the exhaust system and that is when you're going to get that detonation, that after firing in the exhaust that's going to damage your aircraft. Try to avoid that and if you guys cannot fly every day, fly at mikealpha.com. Check out on the website and on the YouTube channel all these videos we were doing of what is inside of an airplane as well as destroying an airplane because, well, we're kind of doing two things here at once. We're destroying the airplane plus showing what's inside the airplane. A lot of those videos will be on YouTube and even more will be on the website at flyatmikealpha.com. So definitely check that out. We will see you guys in the next one.